supervisory control and data acquisition. SCADA is an industrial computer system that monitors and controls the power system. So it consists of two sections supervisory control and data acquisition. The supervisory control indicates the operator in an energy control center has the ability to control the remote equipments and data acquisition indicates the information is gathered characterizing the state of remote equipments. So this block diagram represents the SCADA system. The SCADA consists of a master station, remote terminal unit and the communication link. So the master computer unit is a large computer system which serves as a central processor. This master computer unit and the associate hardware are located at the energy control center. It consists of uh, digital computers, interfacing devices and hardware components and it displays the information to the operator with the help of the CRT display. Remote terminal unit and the associate hardware are located at remote station, generally in substations and these RTUs are microprocessor controlled electronic devices. They collect necessary data with the help of the sensors and transmit them to SCADA for processing. These RTUs are special purpose computers which contain analog to digital converters, digital to analog converters, digital input and output status. And third one is the communication equipment that links the RTU and the master computer. It may be a fiber optic, satellite communication, microwave communications are employed to link this RTU with the CADA. The form of communication required for SCADA is the telemetry. So this telemetry may be analog or digital. So the quantity to be metered is sensed with the help of the sensors and the physical quantity is converted into electrical quantity using the transducer and that analog signal is converted to digital signal and it is transmitted to the computer at the energy control center. And here the digital signal is converted into analog and it is displayed in the indicating meter and sent to recording meter. So this is a complete structure of a master and remote station. So in the master station, you will be having the indication, alarm, displays and special functions, control and indications are uh, taken place here. And in between you will be having a communication link through the modem. And here you will be having a remote station that will be having you will be getting analog data from the relays using the sensors, then analog to digital converter, pulse counter, binary data, then indication, the status indications will be present here and the control operation will be taken from the SCADA unit. So this is a complete structure of the master and remote station. Operations of SCADA system. Supervisory control indicates that the operator residing in the energy control center has the ability to control remote equipment and the data acquisition indicates that information is gathered characterizing the state of remote equipment and sent to ECC for monitoring purposes. In general, SCADA provides centralized real-time monitoring, control and data management across vast electrical network. Relays located within the RTU on command received from ECC it opens or closes the selected control circuit to perform a supervisory action. Such action includes opening or closing of a circuit breaker or switch, modifying the transformer tap settings, raising or lowering generator megawatt output or terminal voltage, switching in or out a shunt capacitor or inductor for the voltage control, and starting or stopping of a synchronous condenser. So information gathered by the RTU and communicated to ECC includes both analog information and status indicators. Analog information includes frequency, voltages, currents, real and reactive power flow. Status indicators includes alarm signals that includes over temperature, low relay battery voltage, whether switches and circuit breakers are open or closed, the status of that will be indicated through this information. So based on the information gathered, operators will perform the control actions remotely with the help of the SCADA system. And SCADA will support automation of routine tasks such as load shedding, capacitor bank switching, voltage regulations, etc. This can be done automatically without the human operators. And after monitoring and control operation is taken place, the SCADA stores the historical data 
that can be used for trend analysis load forecasting energy accounting performance evaluation of equipment etc this will improves the operational efficiency and system stability so scada is essential for maintaining the reliability efficiency safety of power system operations enabling utilities to manage complex grids with greater accuracy and responsiveness now we'll see some functions of scada first one supervisory control data acquisition automatic generation control load shedding load restoration logging alarms information display information storage and result display sequence of event acquisition remote terminal unit processing general maintenance run time status verification economic modeling remote start and stop function load matching based on economics now we will see in short about this functions first one is supervisory control it enables operators to monitor control and manage power system operation processes remotely second one data acquisition it gathers real time data from the sensors and field devices located remotely third one is automatic generation control it is responsible for maintaining the balance between electricity generation and consumption in real time it automatically adjusts the output of multiple generators to ensure a stable system frequency and proper power flow across the grid by monitoring load demands and frequency deviation this agc helps optimize generator performance improve systems reliability and support economic dispatch of power fourth one load shedding it is a automated reduction of load on the power grid to prevent system overload or failure when demand exceeds generation or in the event of fault scada can initiate load shedding by disconnecting non essential loads based on priority levels so this helps maintain grid stability protection equipment and prevent widespread blackouts fifth one load restoration it is a process of systematically reconnecting loads that were previously shed during the disturbance or overload once the system stabilizes and sufficient generation capacity is available scada helps restore power to affected areas by following predefined priorities and conditions this ensures a safe efficient and orderly recovery of the electrical grid while minimizing downtime and service interruption sixth one logging it involves the continuous recording of data such as voltage levels current frequency circuit breaker status and alarms this historical data is stored for analysis reporting and troubleshooting purposes by maintaining accurate logs scada supports system diagnostic performance evaluation compliance and regulations and informed decision making for maintenance and future planning seventh one alarms so to alert operators about the abnormal condition and critical conditions such as equipment failure overloads and parameter deviations when such events occurs scada generates visual and audible alerts helping operators quickly identify and respond to issue so this function enhances situational awareness supports timely decision making and helps maintain the reliability and safety of the power system eighth one information display it provides operators with a real time visual representation of grid status including voltage levels power flow equipment status and alarm this information is presented through graphical interfaces like mimic diagram scada dashboards and trend charts enabling the operator to quickly understanding the effective decision making for monitoring and controlling the power network ninth one information storage and result display it involves collecting and archiving the real time and historical data from various components like substations transformers and circuit breakers this stored information can be used for the analysis reporting and auditing this result will be displayed visually through scada dashboard by charts and reports allowing operators to quickly interpret system performance detect anomalies and make informed decision for efficient power system management tenth one sequence of event acquisition it involves accurately recording the order and exact time of events such as switch gear operation faults and alarms this function helps operator and engineers to analyze the sequence and cause of incidents ensuring precise fault diagnosis and faster restoration this sequence of uh, events data is crucial for improving system reliability and identifying the root causes and optimizing
protection and control strategies. 11th one, remote terminal unit processing. This RTU, remote terminal unit, collects data from sensors and circuit breakers, processing this data locally and transmitting it to the central SCADA system. This RTU also receives control commands from the energy control center and execute them in real time. This enables efficient monitoring and control of remote equipment, reduces communication delays and enhances the overall responsiveness and reliability of the power system. Twelfth one, general maintenance. It involves routine checks, updates and repairs to ensure all hardware and software components function correctly. This include inspecting sensors, RTUs, communication links and servers as well as updating firmware and software, backing up data and testing system performance. Regular maintenance helps prevent failures, extend equipment lifespan, ensures data accuracy and maintains reliable system operation. Thirteenth one, runtime status verification. It involves continuously monitoring and validating the real-time operational status of equipments and system parameters. It ensures that devices such as circuit breakers, transformers and generators are operating within their expected states and performance limit. This function helps to detect anomalies or failures early. It supports timely decision making and maintain the overall safety and stability of the power system. Fourteenth one, economic modeling. It involves the analysis of operational data to optimize the cost effectiveness of power system generation, transmission and distribution. By using real time and historical data, SCADA support decision related to load forecasting, unit commitment and economic dispatch. This helps utilities to minimize the operational cost, reduce energy losses and improve overall system efficiency while meeting demand and regulatory requirements. Fifteenth one, remote start and stop of the equipments. The operators can control either start or stop the operation of the equipment such as generators, pumps or circuit breaker from the central location. This function enhances operational efficiency and safety by enabling quick response to changing system conditions, scheduled operations or emergency shutdowns without the need for a on-site personnel. It also supports automation and reduces downtime in power system management. Sixteenth one, load matching based on economics. It involves adjusting power generation and distribution to meet demand in the most cost effective way. By analyzing real time data on load requirement and generation cost, SCADA helps to prioritize the use of cheaper energy sources while ensuring reliable supply. This function supports optimal resource utilization, reduces operational cost and enhances the economic efficiency of the power grid. Now we will see some control functions of SCADA. They are control and monitoring of switching devices, tapped transformers and accelerated devices etc. Then bay and a station wide interlocking. A single bay in a substation or a complete substation interlocking can be controlled using the SCADA system. Dynamic bus bar coloring according to their actual operational status. Automatic switching sequences and automatic functions such as load shedding, power restoration and high speed bus bar transfer. Time synchronization by radio and satellite clock signal. Next one, monitoring functions of SCADA. Measurement and displaying of current, voltage, frequency, active and reactive power, energy, temperature etc. Alarm function, storage, and evaluation of time stepped events, trends and archiving of measurements, collection and evaluation of maintenance data, disturbance recording and evaluation. So, these are the monitoring functions of SCADA. Next one, protection functions of SCADA. Substation protection functions include the monitoring of events like start, trip indication and relay operating time and setting and reading of relay parameters. Protection of bus bars, line feeders, transformers and generators. Protection monitoring that includes status monitoring, events, measurements, parameters and recorders. Adaptive protection by switchover of active parameter set. So, these are the protection function of SCADA. So, this is a complete block diagram of a SCADA unit including the master station, communication link and the remote station. These are the operations and functions of SCADA which is supervisory control and data acquisition system.